Hey you guys, welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you're not. So today's video is just going to be a little life update because I haven't made a video in two months and so much has happened since and there's so many like things that I want to update you guys on because I feel like you guys are my friends and I feel like I've been MIA and you guys don't know anything so Definitely, there's a lot of things that y'all are going to hear about, like with fitness journey, with school, some things that are going to be coming in the future. Um, and there's even some other things that are like in the works, if I can. Yeah, just say that they're in the works, y'all. But yeah, stay tuned so y'all can know about everything that's going on. And then also, I want you guys to comment down below how your year is going so far. So like January, February, so far, how has March been? Or whenever you're seeing this, comment down below how your year's been. I want to know everything. I love to read. I love to get to know people. Um, if you had COVID, if you had a baby, tell me. I want to know it. So let's get into the video okay y'all first of all i turned the fan off because it makes a noise for some reason and also it's raining outside so i can't really do anything about that but if y'all are wondering why my face is like this i went to a doggy parade and i got me a little tan so my face is darker than the rest of my body right now so i gotta get that together um so about school update on school so i graduate this may I work, like, like, I work, back, thing, whatever. So excited. But yeah, I graduate this May, so I definitely have a lot on my plate. Like, there's so much that I have to do. So that's another reason why I've been MIA, because I'm trying to, like, keep my grades up. Um, I'm also involved in SGA on campus, so doing events with them. Um, and if you don't know it, that's the Student Government Association. Um, so doing events with that, keeping my grades up. I'm also working, I quit my other job. So I no longer work at the restaurant that I was working at. Um, I have a new job though, it pays better, it's better. So that's a good thing. That's another thing that happened this year that's super exciting. So yeah, I got a new job. Um, I'm almost done with school this year well this semester is i wouldn't say it's stressful i feel like i'm making it more stressful because i'm an overachiever and like i like everything put in different like i want everything mapped out and then my school will just like throw a day and be like oh your senior pictures are this day or oh your fee statement this this because honestly i this semester I have four classes. I had to drop one of my classes because all of my classes were like management classes and it couldn't all four be management. So I had to get like a marketing class. That had me so stressed. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna graduate. I just overreact to everything, but that's all handled. Um, The class, oh boy, I don't know. I'll let y'all know by then this how that goes. But yeah, school, I'm doing well. You know, I'm not feeling anything. Um, I'm not stressed. I'm in a good mental space right now, which is amazing because honestly, um, I have anxiety and stuff. And when I get stressed, things just, uh, I get emotional. I'm always crying or I'm always angry, but I'm in a good headspace right now. That is really good. Um, that sums up everything with school i believe so on to my fitness journey you guys from december to january i gained like 20 pounds so if y'all thought i was doing good with because i know in one of my videos i mentioned about oh i'm starting my fitness journey and i want to be a hundred percent with y'all and open and honest and be like you can start it and start it and start it and like over and over again it doesn't matter like don't beat yourself up about it i've learned to not beat myself up about it um but yeah i gained like 20 pounds because um in december i believe i was like 155 and then by january i was like 171.8 when i went to the doctor and i was like 
OMG. But I weighed myself either, no, it was like the day before yesterday or the day before that. So it might have been like March the 3rd or March the 4th. And I was 162. So I am losing my... I'm losing the weight now. And the only thing I'm doing is I'm using my fitness pal to track my calories. Um, I've probably worked out two days since I've started that, but I'm still losing weight. So definitely start small. And I was honestly eating everything. I needed to put a freaking lasso on my mouth because I was eating cupcakes, candy, ice cream because it was january was my birthday so i was like going all out and did not want to back up from the table but now i have and i'm losing the weight again which is excellent because i always hear that the older you get it's harder to lose weight so i'm glad that my body is still you know doing what she gotta do um because i would have been panicking and then also i'm trying to get i tried to set me a reasonable limit my mom was all like I want you to get to 140 and I was just like girl your daughter will lose it if she gave herself a goal like that like me I have to start small because I will be beating myself up about it if I'm not 140 by the summer so I gave myself the goal to be 155 to 150 by May for one because I'm graduating I want to look nice in my graduation dress also, I want to take graduation pictures. And also, there's a cruise that we have planned um, in May. So, I want to look good on the cruise. And then you don't want to go on a cruise too heavy because you're going to leave the cruise kind of heavy. Because when you're on a cruise, you're going to eat everything. But definitely, I will be vlogging the cruise. So, that is going to be something that y'all are going to see on this channel. I'll be having that. So, yeah. The fitness journey... I'm just starting slow and just modifying what I eat because honestly, I was eating a lot and now I feel like I'm training myself now to not eat as much because like I'll have a whole plate of food in front of me, but I'll probably take like six bites and be full. So I know that my stomach is getting back to like how it was because I was eating everything. Like if I went to Subway, I was getting a foot long and six cookies. Damn! and you're like girl what the heck and then my sub is not simple i put like 10 things on top of that mug so yeah also i'm trying to get rid of like i will make a video because i had this big huge piercing up i can't i don't know if y'all can see it or not um it's smaller now but i'm trying to make that go down by the time i have to take my graduation photos for school which is I believe next week so yeah it's looking pretty good it was huge y'all like you couldn't even see the piercing the bump was that big the bump was like over the piercing like it was taking the piercing inside of it or something like that so that was just uh but i will be having a video coming up about how i got rid of this piercing bump in like three like three to five days so other than that another cool thing is i became a godmother and y'all look how cute my little cup is um it says zara's godmother it's the cutest little thing ever but um cameron sent like i did not even know that she was doing this so like she's good with surprises i love surprises too y'all um and i'm extra so of course she had to be extra with asking me because like a simple honestly i would have been happy with a simple text but this i was literally screaming in the kitchen and i couldn't believe it but yeah she sent um a little thing to the house i'm gonna insert clip a picture or a video of it But yeah, she sent it to my house. I opened it and it was, that was like the cutest thing ever. But y'all, I was so happy. And it was just like so cute because I am the bougie one. I am the extra one, of course. Super excited. Um, And y'all, it's so crazy. So while I'm talking about her, um, we have this picture 
frame and I actually put her picture and it's like the picture frame has like you can send pictures from your phone so I sent pictures of Zara from my phone to the picture frame and as I'm talking about how I'm now her godmother her picture popped up there and I'm just like ah but anyway y'all it's so cute I have to go see her I have to see her oh my gosh I've been so busy with school like I'm telling y'all I haven't been um able to talk to y'all or put videos up for y'all I haven't even been able to really hang out with my friends like I can't even like uh I miss them I miss everyone I can't wait till all of this is over with like senior semester well last semester of college is like Ugh, it's a lot. But it's not like, I'm not stressed. It's just like, I'm so on everything. Like, all my assignments, I've been like turning in extra early because I just don't want anything to happen. And then like, I miss an assignment or my grades start going down. And it's March now. So, I mean, all we have is like, it's March. Is it March the 6th or 7th? It's one of these days. But yeah, like, the rest of March, the rest of April, and then, like, the first week of May, it's, like, you're done for if your grades are bad. Like, if you ain't got nothing turned in, it's over with. So, good luck. So, I'm trying to be on top of everything um, and just be focused, be in the zone and everything. But I definitely, I don't know if I'm gonna film my graduation pictures because I don't know. I feel like that day is gonna be stressful already. And I am not photogenic at all. Like, especially when people are taking my pictures. Now, if I'm taking my own pictures, like with my phone or my tripod, they come out decent. But when, you're taking when you're having to take pictures when someone else is taking your pictures mm -mm. looks a mess it looks ugh. but anyways yeah y'all those are like that's like a little life update of mine school is just all that's part of my life um yeah it's weird because i keep thinking to myself and i'm just like what's next like, I'm not even done with school, but I'm just like, what's next? Like, of course, I know I'm going to get a job and everything and work and save them coins. But I'm just like, what's next? Anyways, yeah, definitely. Um, I would say now, like, after going through my four years of college, definitely don't procrastinate. That's hard. To, that's hard to do now. But you can do it. Don't procrastinate. And just, like, know how to say no. That's the best thing. Like, learning how to say no will save you. When someone's like, let's go to a party. No. I got homework. Let's go out on a date. No. I got an essay. Let's go out to eat. No. <laughs> I got to work. Something. Something. Especially if you work and you go to college. Me, majority of my college experience I worked and went to school and I didn't live on campus so I commuted um about 20 minutes away 20 25 30 on a slow day <laughs> honestly but yeah just prioritize um if y'all want me to make a like college tips videos I can or if you're in high school if you want some tips I can make I can I haven't been out of high school that long, y'all. So I can still remember some stuff. Now, high school might be different from 2016. Like, I definitely feel like it probably is. But, I mean, things that got me through high school, things that got me to be the top 10 of my class. Actually, I was number, what number was I? I think I was number 7. Yeah, I was number 7. But I was still in the top 10 though, okay? If y'all want a video, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, I'll be trying to post. Mm. But yeah, I'll be trying to post um some things to kind of just keep y'all updated. And also to just like 
document this experience because I honestly haven't vlogged anything from my college experience. I didn't vlog anything from my experience at VEDA. And honestly, I was at a VEDA for six months now. So, <laughs> I mean, what could I have really had vlogged? But yeah, I definitely want to. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's just me talking. Sometimes I like to talk. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know how you're doing. If you're engaged, if you're married, whatever. I want to know it all, boo. All of it. So I can congratulate y'all. Or if y'all just need some motivation, I can motivate y'all in the comments. Or if you just need the vent, I am going to listen. Um, yeah. And any time that y'all need to do any of those things or you just want to... Like, if you don't feel like your friends are listening to you, come to this channel. I'll listen. And I reply pretty darn fast, too, because I get every notification. And I'm not that big, so I'm not going to miss a comment. If you're coming in something that makes sense... Now, if you're talking about some tig -o bitties or you're talking about I'm going to kill my boyfriend now... I have no comment. But if you're talking about something positive or you you have some questions about something or just anything, like, comment it down below and I'll answer it back because I'm your girl. So anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe so you can see all of the other exciting things. This isn't really exciting. It's just like, well, it's kind of exciting, but I mean, it's me talking um but yeah like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye y'all